Today I'm going to be talking about how to break up with someone. So um, whenever I do like an advice video, relationships, even school, a lot of times people get, a lot of times I get the question, you know, how do you break up with someone? And this is really hard for a lot of people um, if it's like a first relationship or maybe if you're really shy or maybe you're in the same group of friends, you go to the same school, like you're still going to be seeing them. It's not like when you're an adult and you break up and you never see them again, unless you're in the same group of friends, because that does happen a lot. It can actually be really hard and it's not always about being an asshole, it's kind of just about, you know, how do I do it in a way that doesn't make me an asshole. So today I'm talking about how to break up with someone. And if after this video you're still too shy to do it, just send this video to the person you want to break up with and they'll get the hit. They don't like you anymore. This is for you. They don't like you anymore. Done. That's, no. Don't do that. That's, that's horrible. I don't know. Don't send this to someone. So the first thing I want to talk about is don't do it over the phone, slash text, slash email, slash Facebook, slash Twitter, slash Instagram, slash Ask FM, slash whatever the fuck else you use that doesn't have a face-to-face -face type thing. Don't do it, guys. Oh my gosh. It's horrible. I know it's easy. I know it's so much easier than seeing them and maybe having to see them cry or having to explain yourself or maybe you're, you really are kind of grossed out by them at this point and you don't want to be near them. I understand how easy it is to just say, we're over, send, my life is free. But let me tell you something, it's the worst thing you can do. It's so impersonal, it's so horrible, and the truth is you're going to be known as the person who broke up with someone over text or email or whatever. It's just the worst. Like you get a really bad reputation. It's you're an asshole if you do that basically. Okay, you know what? Actually, let me backtrack. If you were with the person for a month or less, you have permission to do it over the phone slash FaceTime slash Skype, but that's it. No text, no email, no I am, no social media. I don't care if you've been together for a week. And that kind of brings me to my next piece of advice, which is don't be an asshole. You might hate the person. I know how it is sometimes when you want to break up with someone and you wait too long to do it and then you start hating them. You know what I mean? And the truth is a lot of times, unless they deserve it, you only hate them because you don't want to be with them anymore and you're tired of them and you're tired of being around them. And they don't know that. So kind of cut them some slack and realize that they're the, going to be blindsided in a second and try to be nice to them. So if you like, you're so annoying, you know what I mean? Just be like, I think we've grown apart, or we're better off as friends, it's not you, it's me. You know, a cliche, nice line is better than an original asshole line. I actually knew someone in high school who got dumped after like six months um, by, they basically, the guy, because it was the girl that got dumped, the guy basically put a bunch of pictures on Facebook of him partying with his ex-girlfriend. She was trying to call him, trying to text him, nothing. He literally didn't answer her calls for like a week and they had been together for six months. And then she woke up one day and went outside and all of her stuff was in a box on her front porch. Never her again. That's, I mean, that's harsh, that's bad. And the truth is you might think, oh, I'm never gonna talk to that girl again. I don't care if she thinks about me. But the truth is girls have friends. Girls have social media. Girls know girls at other schools. You might think that the person you're breaking up with doesn't know the people in your, you know, circle or something. Or find a way to get to them if you, you know, kill our hearts and stab it. And, you know what I mean, there are even websites now where you can be like, don't date this guy. You put your information out there and girls will stay away from you. Like, it's serious. It's serious. Seriously, hell hath no fear like a woman scorned is the truest, truest thing. We are psychopaths. We will murder you. Have you guys seen that Louis C.K. comedy thing where he talks about how like a guy like will punch you in the face or stab you, but like a woman will like ruin your soul? Like that's the truth. We're horrible people, so don't piss us off. Anyways, the next piece of advice, don't put it off for the last minute. A lot of times people are scared and they keep pushing it. Oh, I don't want to ruin their weekend. Well, I don't want to ruin their week. Oh, well, I don't want to ruin Groundhog Day. Oh, I don't want to ruin their great grandma's birthday. Like. Just get it over with because the longer you put it off, the worse it's gonna be. You know, you're gonna have to basically be unhappy. They're gonna be unhappy because you're gonna be unhappy. You're probably gonna be fighting all the time. You know what I mean? When you're ready to break up with a person, 
break up with them because the truth is you're just leading them on and you're basically causing them to not be able to move on and when you're basically have moved on in your when you basically moved on in your mind this is how a lot of times cheating happens when someone's like i would never cheat on someone and then they date someone and they don't want to be with them anymore but they're too scared to break up with them but kind of in their mind they've already moved on and then that's how cheating happens so they think oh well i don't even want to be with them anymore but guess what you haven't broken up with them so you're still a douche do it the second you realize you don't want to be with the person anymore don't leave them on guys and the last piece of advice is if you're the person who's getting broken up with, which I know this is more how to break up, but this is kind of just an ending advice. If you're the one being broken up with, don't be that person who goes around talking shit about the person, spreading rumors, talking about how much of a horrible person they were, complaining on Facebook, taking pictures of yourself sad and being like, that asshole broke my heart, selfie. To be honest, you just look stupid and desperate and like you're not over them yet. Basically, just pretend they didn't exist. Pretend it didn't happen. Be happy. Move on with your life. Don't, you know, be all over social media. Nobody cares. And to be honest, they're going to be making fun of you with their friends about how much of like a desperate psycho stalker you are. Also, delete them from social media and block them. And I don't mean this in a mean way. Don't do it like, fuck them, I'm blocking them. Do it because when you break up with someone, you are going. You are 120 million percent going to want to stalk them to see what they're up to. Whether or not you broke up with them or they broke up with you, it's just human nature to kind of wonder what they're doing without you. And that can be really toxic when you see something you don't want to see. So it's really best to block them actually for yourself so that you can't see their stuff. You know what I mean? So if they're private, you don't have to block them, just delete them as a friend. If they ask you about it, maybe if you guys want to stay friends, be like, you know, make up an excuse, whatever. I don't know. But do whatever you can to not be able to see their stuff because I know people who have broken up with their boyfriends and girlfriends literally years ago and they will still to this day go on like their Instagram and stuff. It's so unhealthy. It's so toxic, guys. Don't be that person. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this breakup tips. Um, comment below if I missed any. Have you been through a breakup lately? Did you break up with them? Did they break up with you? How did it go? Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, later. Okay, bye! Katana found herself walking the streets of a magnificent, shining city. This was Edenia, a realm freed from Outworld, and Katana was its beautiful queen. This was the timeline unaltered by Raiden. Earthrealm had been destroyed by Shao Kahn, but Katana had survived Armageddon and united the other realms to destroy him. Long-lasting peace was the result. Katana awoke from this vision to find herself in the Nether Realm. She was not the queen of Edenia, but a revenant of Hell, and she hated Raiden for it.